with this again, yeah, ma'am. She's just down there. You don't want to change that thing so that. All right. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Just try to think about where to put these balloons. Just put them on the chair or on the couch or even on the table. That works. Dude, remember when we were in Mr. Boyette's class and Jason popped that balloon and you peed yourself? <laughs> Dude, don't remind me. Rex wouldn't let me off for three years. He kept on talking about it. Are you ever going to let me live that down? Never have, never will. <laughs> Come in. Great to see you. It's been way too long. Oh, tell me about it. I didn't know she'd show up already. That makes sense. Oh, the usual. Wake up, go to work, play some video games, take a nap, we'll play with my ferret, and then take a peek, and then go back to sleep. Uh, I also eat somewhere in there. Oh, sure. <laughs> that sounds really interesting and all, but I, on the other hand, woke up today with a five mile run. That's what it was. Did you know that if you run on a regular basis, it can build up strong bone muscles as it's a weight-bearing exercise? Which, I mean, good for me in case I need to change down a perpetrator and put them under arrest. Also, I've been taking up boxing recently. Oh. I know, right? Come in. Salutations, my dudes. And Penelope. You know, I could be part of the dudes, right? <clears throat> you know, for supposed officer of the law, I do not appreciate this blatant disrespect. Frankly, Penelope, I do not appreciate your scornful and contemptuous attitude towards me. And I would appreciate it if you would be more cordial. Really? Guys, I already don't understand half the words you're saying. <laughs> Chill out. Come in! Jeez! <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Party I've seen ever. Yeah, well, some people like had stuff going on. Great to see you, Brick. Oh, yeah. Um, did you notice the toga? Yeah, oh, can't have a 20 God. BC themed party without a toga, am I right? Yeah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I brought my boy Brick, because this dude knows how to party! Let's Woo! Go. It's Rex, who got us? Um, actually, I got Ox. You could try finding Ox elsewhere, though. Whatever, bro. Listen, you're the one cutting up mice for fun, so I heard. You know what, from now on, I'm gonna call you Melvin the Mice Mutilator. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Do you know what, bro? Whoa, whoa, Your whoa, mice whoa. privileges are cut. I'm getting some mad every domino vibes from you. I ain't vibing with it. <laughs> whoa! We can all share the mic, can't we? I got you, Rosie. Come in. Hello, Clint. Hello, hello. After three hours of convincing, nope. Come. 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 I finally got Joy to come. Oh, well, you know, I was on the phone with my doctor for like three hours talking about my plantar fasciitis. And as it turns out, I have to buy these insoles for like 90 bucks. I have to buy three of them. Anyway, then I got stuck in traffic because of some dumb funeral, but I'm here now. Hi. Daniel, hi. <clears throat> we brought you a present. It's a disco ball. Can't have a party without a disco ball. Check that. No, I'll put it up for you, Daniel. You know. You should really get the trend lab these insoles. It would help people with plantar fasciitis. They provide a firm support for your foot and you have to be good here for it. Actually, you know I actually have something, but I have to get my email back coming back. Yeah. I'll be able to go. Oh, sorry. The remote. Oh. Yo, hey, oh, wait, 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 wait
nothing. We better go check the circuit breaker. I'll find the flashlight. Hey, who turned off the lights? This is so unprofessional. Hey, get off me. I'm trying to cut this here cake. Yo! Boom! Daniel can't hang, dude. Daniel? Are you okay? Okay, that is not fun to put the cake down. I guess we don't need that. Oh my oh. god, guys! He's yeah. totally not breathing! He's dead! He's dead! We killed him! I don't know how, but we killed him! Tiffany, what the hell are you screaming about for two minutes? Sir, Daniel passed away! Hold on! What? Everybody calm down! I'm a pro at operation! Yeah, you guys did all the Oh my god! Wait, get off! Get off the pan! You're gonna crush his ribs! Like, he can't possibly be dead. Come on, let me check. Oh, dear God. He is dead. Composure if we're going to solve this. Jeremy is right, guys. Where was everyone with the lights went out? I can attest from Jeremy because him and I went to the circuit breaker together. Right, this is true. I can attest from Melvin. All right. Rex, where were you? Bro, why would I kill someone? Are you crazy, fam? Uh, uh, Rexy Boo, don't leave! <laughs> Wait. Oh, he's coming back. Guys, everybody stay here. All right, I'm gonna go get them so we can figure this out. Wait, Jeremy. So Jeremy! So cute. Look, guys, I understand that you're upset and frightened, okay? But we need to get back to the group so we can sort this thing out together. Look, Jeremy. I get what you're saying, but everything is going on right now, but I think we could use some space. Look, man, I ain't trying to go back in there with no killer. They got him up with Daniel. I'm the first one y'all sussed out. Oh, I get that. I get that. But we need to stick together. See, the fact that you two have already run off is suspicious. You all need to stay with the group. He's right, Rex. We need to stay with the group. Oh. Nah. Go <laughs> whack. Go whack anyway. Don't you want to figure out who killed Daniel? Like, don't you want whoever did this to be brought to justice? <laughs> yeah, justice is, uh, it's cool, isn't it? Justice is cool, just not when it involves me. <laughs> Rex, why are you being so stubborn? Like, you wouldn't be this evasive if you had nothing to hide. Bro, listen, Jeremy, I thought we was cool. Why are you personally attacking my feelings? I'm not personally attacking your feelings, all right? I just want to know what you're not telling me. I ain't listening. Keep it above with you, like, to be completely honest with you here, like, to be straight up, you can be open. like, you know, no cap. He jacked it, bro. What? My scholarship to Ole Miss, he jacked it from me. Oh, I thought you meant Hey, hey, no, no, no. Let's not go there. <laughs> Look, Rex, I'm going to level with you, okay? I don't think it's you, but we need your help. Somewhere in this school, there's a killer on the loose. But if we work together, we can avenge Daniel. Nah, I don't know about it, man. I'll give you 20 bucks if you come back with us. Oh, yes, I got you. Where the hell did those boys go? I am suspicious if you ask me. Well, no one asked you. We don't need them. I can solve this just as well. Mm -mm. There's no way I'm letting a two-year criminal justice major solve this disaster. Very interesting you would say that about me. Suspect number one. Or you see, when I came back in, you were the one on top of Daniel's body. Were you not? I was concerned about my friend. Oh, you were concerned, all right. Concerned that your plans would be foiled, 
So you had to look as inconspicuous as possible. Personally, I find it a little more concerning that you weren't more worried. If I remember correctly, you were happy this whole disaster was happening. I actually... And my distress was real. <laughs> yeah, it was real, right? That was real to your fingernails, you murderer! You expect me to just sit here and let you call me a murderer? I have every authority to, if you, I don't know, had the right motivation. Oh, what would that be? You have nothing about me and you know nothing. Oh, really? Then why don't you share with the rest of the class what the two of you did in sophomore year of high school? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Because a little birdie told me that you asked him out and he rejected you. <laughs> Please, rejected? I've never been rejected in my life. It's a foreign concept for someone like me. Oh, it is a foreign concept because it's the first time that has ever happened to you, isn't it? Therefore, you had the complete motivation to murder Daniel so you could still be an innocent little girl and by this really love. You know what, I think we should be looking at a joy. She's the one that's suppressed all the time. You know, she even told me one time that she wishes she had a life like Daniel's. When did I become a part of this conversation? So not cool, sir! Okay. Yes. No, let me have it! No, no! Everybody calm down! Crazy accusations will get us nowhere. Maybe we should wait for Jeremy to get back before we come out with them. And how many times do I have to say this? We don't need a Jeremy. No one really wants to see. Trust me. Look, Penelope, as much as I want to, and I really do, you seem way more excited than upset about his murder. I'm not saying it's you, but... But, but, but what? You don't believe me? Well, I didn't say anything. Look, I'm sorry that I'm not on my knees in tears right now, because as much as I really want to be, I can't let a, this opportunity just slip from me. So yeah, I might not be the one to know you normally, but look at you! You were closer to him than anybody else here! You both were practically brothers! And you think I'm gonna stand here and let you say the one that I'm the one that doesn't care? Matter of fact, Daniel was the only one that ever actually just cared about me! And didn't think of me as just some joke, which is more than I can say about all of you! I thought that you and all people would have my back on this! But it's fine. No. It's fine. I don't care at this point if you all trust me or not. I will solve this damn case myself if I have to, and no one's gonna stop me from that. I managed to bring Rickon Wright's back. Unfortunately, I had to bribe friends. <laughs> but all that matters now is several presents. Good job. It was basically a cat fight here. I got useful information though. That's great, I have some of my own. Let's, let's exchange our information and establish how about this. I thought he said to stay with the group. Yeah. Those two are very good to stick up for each other. Aww, someone sounds jealous that Melvin wants to investigate with Jeremy. What? I mean, it's not like a bad thing anymore, whatever you say. Oh! Looky here! A body to discover! Fine. Oh. Uh, maybe we shouldn't touch that. I know what I'm doing. Can someone get this body out of here? It's so sorry. I have to finish looking. Okay? No one else. Cause of death? Cause of stabbing. Wait. Who was holding a knife when the lights went out? Oh no, the knife! They found the knife! <laughs> All I wanted was cake. I've had my eyes on that cake ever since I got here. Sweet white icing. Soft, spongy vanilla. Oh, I didn't mean to kill him. The lights were off. Tiffany pushed me. It's her fault, not mine. I'm innocent. Oh, I didn't mean to stab him. They still put you in jail for accidental murders. <laughs> I can't go to jail, I'm too sexy! 
What am I gonna do? <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, does everyone remember where they were before the lights went out? I was pouring myself a much needed drink. It was literally a punch. I didn't get a chance to spike it yet. <laughs> I was getting my heating pads in Tiffany's car because you're all annoying, and I only came back because I heard you yelling. Aww, you were worried about me. No, not at all. You're my ride home. Could not be taken out yet. <laughs> yet? What the hell do you mean, yet? I'm just saying, if anyone's going to be taken out first, it's you. You're just so pushy. I wouldn't be at this crime scene if it weren't for you. I brought you here because I told me that today she'd get that Stick out of your bonnet! Oh, um, yeah? You're one to talk. You haven't had a boy since our sophomore year of high school, and you wonder why. I'm focusing on myself right now, and you Oh, yeah, are you? Okay! This is going nowhere. Okay. 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 Get back on track. Now. Frick? I, um... Truly, man of many words. <sighs> a bro, he's flustered by loud noises. It's about time you stop talking. He's only here for eye candy. Hey, you know don't say that about my home. Okay, okay that's it. Nice. <laughs> that's enough. Enough. Focus. That's all we need to worry. Let's get back on track. For real. What? Come on, get the body out of here. It smells. Migraine. I'll try to pause. That's basically all the information I have on their motives. Okay. This is good. <coughs> so? Any suspicions? So Rex is a little suspicious to me. Because when we were outside, he was ranting back how Daniel stole his old Miss scholarship. He was really exasperated about it. Not to mention, he was very reluctant to speak to us at first. Interesting. On the other hand, though, Tiffany seemed pretty riled up. There are too many suspicions to just focus on one right now. You're right. At this point, everyone's on edge about this. You know, I haven't really noticed much of a reaction from you since Daniel's death. Well, he was my best friend. That's all the evidence you really need. Plus, I was with you the whole time the lights were out. But that's the problem. Your best friend has died, and you're surprisingly relaxed considering the circumstances. I mean, of course it sucks to know that he's dead. We all have different ways of mourning. Plus, I also suffer from sociopathy, so I can't really emote the correct way. But he's your best friend. Don't you feel even a little perturbed by all that's happened? Yeah, of course. It does really suck to know he's gone. Guess I'm gonna be an only child from now on. Wait, I didn't know you had siblings. Well, biologically we weren't related, but we were adopted by the same family. He's just like a brother to me. Wow, I had no idea. I'm um, sorry, Melvin, I shouldn't have been so aggressive. It's fine. I just want to find out who this murderer is. That's all. I guess that takes up most of my headspace. Yeah, I understand. Well, I guess we better return to the group and see what's going on. Well, you can maintain at least a five foot gap between us because there is no way you are interrogating me. However, Rex was the one asking about Ox, which would eventually lead to the lights going out. However, it would be hard to question him because Rex would just look up for him and just be in the back of my couple. Anyway, so that makes sense. What the hell happened here? Penelope, <laughs> what did you do? Way. Penelope, you better start explaining. I need to admit it, but she had good reason to knock those two poor dissidents out. It was the only way to get things figured out. And besides, they're not dead. Look. Bro, what the hell? It's the best. Ah! 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 Oh. Dude, you got my toe away! Sorry, you were comfy. Frick, <laughs> just shut it. Please don't be Hey! 
I am an adult. Are you? I think I am. How old am I? Bro, you just turned four. Calm down, That's dude. Right. Can we please just start figuring this out? The idea of Daniel being dead in the back of Rick's car really freaking me out. I don't know what you said, but I agree. <laughs> okay, time to put end to the circus. Now let's actually make some progress for once. Finally! Jeremy, stop playing Spencer Reed and just call the police. We don't need the police! We are handling this ourselves! Handling? We're no closer to solving this disaster than when we found Daniel dead on the floor. We are doing just fine. Just put the phone up. Oh, no, so I'm calling the police. Okay, no, 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 that is it. All of us! Everyone, now! What the hell, Penelope? You can have this phone back. I was there twice. Whenever we get progress actually figured out, join chair right now! Just before the lights blacked out, where exactly were you in this room? I already told you I was getting my heating pad from Tiffany's car. And did you leave before the lights went out? Yes, that is correct. Not that's any of your business. As a matter of fact, it is our business. How would Why would you? Jeremy, back off on this one. I already have a lead on her, so just. Sit this one out. No, Penelope, we are working together to solve this case. <laughs> so now you're wanting to take your job seriously. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Where was Mr. I know, I followed the law. Five minutes ago, and if the two of you just ran off. Melvin and I were sharing information so we could gather all the facts. And you couldn't have shared that with the rest of us? Or were you and your new little partner in crime talking about something else? We both knew we wouldn't be able to get a word in edgewise because none of you would shut up for two seconds. And don't start throwing shade at me, Penelope. It's already bad enough to have to suffer through this mess with you, and I don't need you accusing me and everyone else in this building without clear evidence. At least I'm willing to get my job done instead of just- Okay. Can you guys chill out? Aren't you supposed to be professionals? Yes! <sighs> okay. Bring Rex in. Bring Rex. Thank you. She's right. Why were you on the ground next to Daniel? Lights went out. Couldn't see much. I tripped over them. And where were you going that caused you to trip? Shake? That makes sense. <laughs> I guess that's all the information I really need from him. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get anything else out of him. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Come back down. Hey, that's what I. Just go. Oh, are you gonna go for Daniel? Will you please work down here? Oh, I was chilling. I thought you okay. had places to be. You know, I did, but I, you know. Will you just shut up, please? Don't make me come over there. Get, just go. God, why won't you shut up? We need to know where you were and what you were doing the moment the lights went off. Flirting with Brick, as any rational person would be doing, and standing next to Daniel. Now that you two mention it, you have been next to Daniel practically all night. Any particular reason look, why? And I'll be, look, with all due respect, I feel like the stuff about Daniel, not really necessary. Irrelevant, because Elvie. he clearly 
has shown no interest in you, so why, oh why, you have your grimy little hands on him, like the exact person that you are. So just get this. Get this. You guys can figure this out on your own. No, you get back Oh, we're crying out loud. This is a disaster. Why did you stop me? Your line of questioning was getting us nowhere. If you had trusted me for one second, one second, you would have seen I could have gotten what I needed to out of her. How do you expect to get anything out of her if you're provoking her unnecessarily, huh? So the whole point of this investigation is to establish alibis and deduce possible motives, not to dish out insults and settle old scores. Now, I've had enough of your personal vendettas, all right? You're just gonna make her more furious. And as you just witnessed, she will refuse to cooperate. Good. The sooner she gets upset, the sooner she will crack, which will lead to my very leading suspicion that the only thing she ever really cared about tonight was getting revenge on Daniel for rejecting her. Now, if you want to play good cop, that is fine by me. You just stay out of my life. You horny stupid mother! What the hell are you guys yelling about? Everyone can hear you from the other room. Now get your heads in the game and stop trying to play investigator. I don't know if you've noticed, but someone near and dear to all of our hearts is dead. So you want to keep playing games, Penelope, or let Jeremy do his job? My apologies. It seems that we did get a little carried away with our questioning. We'll try not to stir the peace. Thank you. Okay. Who's our next witness? I believe I am. I'm an open book. All right. Well, would you like to have a seat? Sure. So, I really don't need that much from you because we were together during the blackout. You're right. I can go grab Rick. You think he'll be able to stay still for this? He seems a little antsy. I. I need to clear something up in five minutes. Five minutes. Can one of you give me a play by play about what happened when the lights went off for the both of you? Well, we were kind of just chilling at the party until the ladies arrived with the disco ball. And when Tiffany pressed the button, the lights went out and I got lost in my surroundings. I bumped into a couple of people, but I'm not sure who they were or where they ended up. Then I grabbed someone that ended up being Jeremy, and we rushed to the circuit breaker together. That's basically all I remember. Okay, but you... But I... Okay, fine. That's, that's all I needed from you. I was just trying to check on something. Sorry about earlier, Jeremy. Let's just get this over with. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> why is he tied up? And why does he like it? It was my idea. <laughs> you are still us. Look, is any of this really necessary? I mean, it's just a simple questioning. We're not trying to torture him. I told him that. He insisted. I don't think it's tight enough. Seriously? I know. <laughs> Rick, just sit down and answer the questions. Don't make it weirder than it has to be. <laughs> First of all, what were you doing the moment the lights went off? Well, I was cake. I just wanted some cake. And I cut myself a slice and then the lights went off. And, uh, uh, <laughs> Hey, it's, uh, it's getting a little hot in here. <laughs> hey. Are you good, Rick? Yeah, Rick, chill out. I'm not gonna do anything. Yet. I mean, if you do remember correctly, you were the one holding the knife. <laughs> well, um, I wasn't holding in a, a knife in my hands, per se. Uh, you know, it was just me grabbing some cake with my hands. My good old brick hands, you know, just good old brick grabbing some cake. Um, so, I didn't say, are we done now? No, no, not so fast. We just got started. We still need some answers. Yeah, Brick. Why are you in a haste all of a sudden? <laughs> Come on, Surely guys. you would be. Because, I mean, it is only the first question, after all. You guys know me. 
<laughs> I'm innocent, come on. I'm innocent. You can untie me now. <laughs> Melvin. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, my eye! That was awesome! All right, that's it, sorry. You guys just calm down, please. Just take a breather. Brick, you have one more chance to tell us what's happened, or else. <laughs> the funny thing is about that is that... Ah! Not to really tight. What were you two in Boy Scouts? Rick, Jesus. <laughs> it's time to start talking. What happened? Okay! I confess! It was me! I was cutting some cake, and the lights went out, and Daniel's body flopped against the knife. Oh my gosh, I swear! I had nothing against him! I'm innocent! I didn't mean for it to happen! You have to believe me! Tell the others and get the cops here ASAP. No! No, please! It was an accident! There's no need to get the cops involved, please! No, I agree. Uh, uh, please. Melvin, you can tell the others to get their things. I'll stay with Rick. No. Make sure nothing happens. No, no, please don't leave her. Please, no, no, take me with you. Please. Just ignore me. So, come to this. Really surprised. You know, you might have had the others fool, but not me. I knew this whole thing you were doing was one big act from the moment I met you. <laughs> now, look at you. You are now just a blobbering mess, begging for mercy. And trust me when I say, you will get what you rightfully deserve. How do villains like you even sleep at night? So, I am curious. How does someone like you even get a knife like that? Well, it was... Break the knife! Where did you get it? Okay. It was one of the knives in the box. Uh, oh, I should have known. It was... Wait. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You need the box of the knives made of plastic? Yeah, I mean, oh. <laughs> oh my god, you actually are that stupid. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? Well, this time I thought you were, but you, you're actually- Personally, I think I am very smart. Wait, you really thought that you, how did you kill him? plunged into darkness, and I felt something flop against me, and like, whoa! And like, yeah. shoved it over. And then the lights went, turned on, like, pop! And it was Daniel. Dead. Okay. Okay. I mean, also, you used a plastic knife. Plastic knives don't cause legal wounds. Well, I mean, they could if you sharpened it at like a 50 degree angle. Did you know that, that a dully sharpened knife can cause so much more pain than a rectally sharpened knife? Also, people are more likely to use the plastic knives than the ones that then just throw them out, <laughs> which is 
why I told Daniel not to buy them, but of course, he never listens to me, and yet, here we are. So, <laughs> I'm in the clear. Yeah, done. I mean, I'm going to have to go back to square one, but it's pretty good nice in here. That's awesome! Let's go tell the others. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. Uh -huh. I am so, so, so happy. Mm -hmm. I'm also really happy that you believe me because yeah. I figured if I told you guys, uh -huh. you guys wouldn't believe me, oh. and then, you know, yeah. I'd be in big yeah. trouble. Yes. I don't want that to happen. Right. No, so, I'm just, you know, and then I can have some cake now that yes. you all know that I'm innocent. So, are you almost done? figured out I wasn't the murderer, so we Gucci, you can untie me now. Oh, please. Come on, you really think I'm gonna believe Penelope? No, like, let's be realistic. She couldn't solve a murder case if the killer was standing right next to her. It's Come on. Still tied up. Uh, Why aren't the police here? You people cannot do anything. Hey! We are trying our best here, okay? Okay, brother. Did they hurt you, bro? No, are bro. You okay, bro? Uh, now that you're here, bro, I'm okay, bro. Go eat some more cake. Nobody believes your lies. Sorry, not sorry. Shut, Shut up, up Ellie! Bro! Nobody likes you! Hey. Go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yo! It's Melvin the Mice Mule. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. So, are we taking this home to the police station or what? Yeah, Jeremy, did you get a hold of the police to take them? Yes, they will be here shortly. In the meantime, they said to keep Brick apprehended until they arrived. I'm really sure he did it, because usually the killers aren't this cute. And good conversation. Considering that he vocally admitted that he was the murderer, I think it's safe to say that it's him. I mean, if you want to volunteer to leave Tennessee, by all means, just make sure I get home. Wait, I feel like I'm missing someone. Penelope? Wait, where is Penelope? Dude! 
I don't know. She said she went off to find you guys to tell you that I am innocent and she knew who killed me. Yeah, Harry bring Daniel. my boy Brick, he ain't do nothing. said they would be here soon. Now that I think about it, you weren't the only person that had problems with Penelope. Jeremy, you did it. Penelope's right. Spill, Jeremy. Now, hold on just a minute. Now, it is true that Penelope and I didn't meet eye to eye. But to think that I would kill her because of our petty little differences is just ridiculous. Oh, and by the way, there were ligature marks around her neck. Why do you want a ligature chair? I'm oh, crying out. No. Ligature marks are indentations, you know, that form around someone's neck oh. as a result of being strangled. Strangled? From what? Well, anything that can be wrapped around someone's neck. Like cord, plastic bag, or rope. Brick! You're literally the only person in contact with Brooke right now. Dude! I am tied up! Right. What does that mean? That means it couldn't have been Brick. Yeah! Look who's the dumb one now, you clown! Okay, this is getting way too out of hand. Why is all this happening in the first place? Why is everything in my life just falling apart? First I lose Daniel, my best friend. Then Penelope. The only person I could act myself around and not try to act tough around like I do with you two. Bro, what's wrong with you, little man? <laughs> I'll tell you what's wrong with me. We thought Brick was a murderer, and now we're unsure? Hey. We can't be unsure here. This is literally life or death, and you morons are treating like it's some kind of game. It's a party. You guys don't understand how many nights I've been up just wishing and dreaming for a little bit of hope for someone in the hallway to just say, hey, Melvin. In an enthusiastic tone, but no, I get it's the mice mutilator or weird stares or shuns that are so obvious. I'll tell you what's wrong with me. Sometimes I wish all this would just disappear. My trauma would just disappear. My hopelessness would just disappear. Sometimes I wish I would just. I was picking up scab. Nothing detrimental. Huh. You know, that looks a little large for a scab. Sorry, my scab isn't up to your standards. Ah, oh, real mature, Melvin. Really. Tell me, how long were you with Penelope after we separated? Not long. What are you trying to get at, Jeremy? Well, it all seems a little suspicious, Melvin. Like your trip marks around your neck, scratches around your neck. Sounds to me like the two of you had some sort of an altercation when we were outside. And when you had the chance, you strangled her. Oh, come on, Jeremy. Do you hear yourself right now? Daniel was my best friend, like a brother to me. I know if he was going to be the love of my life. I have no reason to murder. I think you're just upset that I accused you earlier. And maybe it is you. But you watch where you point that little detective finger. Because it'll get you somewhere you don't want to be. Now I'll admit, that I don't know why kill Dan. But you had all the motive in the world to kill Penelope. You obviously didn't want to get caught. Your feelings for her mean nothing. Because in the end, you decided it was better to kill her than to confess. Did you really think I didn't notice the strange way you tied up Rick to that chair? 
He obviously had experience, and I'm sure Penelope picked up on that as well. It's just a shame she didn't live long enough to tell the whole story. By the way, why did you accuse me earlier? Huh? Was it because you were afraid that everyone else was going to figure out who you really are? I mean, come to think of it, you were the one accusing random people. Hell, the moment I mentioned the word rope, you pounced on Greg for crying out loud. Yeah. That's just ridiculous. You may have fooled everyone else, but the proof is in the pudding, and making threats is going to help your case. Just face it. You've been busted. Look, Jeremy, I see how it looks, but you gotta believe me. I would never. Whoa! Whoa! Okay! Okay! exactly what I wanted to do and how I was going to do it. I knew the lights had to go off, and I had to wait for the perfect opportunity. Which is exactly when Tiffany came out with Disco Ball. So this was premeditated. I knew you shouldn't have brought that Disco Ball. It was the perfect opportunity. Hmm. So, when she pressed the button and the lights went out, I went for it. Memorizing exactly where everyone was the moment the lights cut off. <laughs> then I grabbed my knife, and I stabbed Daniel right in the back. Physically and metaphorically. How could you do that? Yeah, you guys were like the best of homies. Wait! Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me. It felt bittersweet in a way. Like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. Then I quickly teamed up with Jeremy and we rushed to the circuit breaker together. We seemed to be a great alibi for the time being. What was the point of killing Penelope if you truly loved her and cared about her? Penelope was the only person who accused me of being the murderer. The love I had for her was real, but the risk was too detrimental for me to have to take. It was her or me. I was totally oblivious to the fact that this would clear brick. I had a goal in mind and I was ready to carry it out no matter what. Even if it meant killing her. Fear got the best of me. So I got the rope around her neck by surprise and Although she put up a fight, she only managed to scratch up my neck. Make the judgments you will, but I had no choice. So are you happy with yourself now? I think the better choice of words is content. So what now? <laughs> At the end of the day, I got what I wanted. What's done is done. No! No! Wait, wait, no, 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 no
you want? What the hell kind of name is Brit? <laughs> name. She was a graceful, <laughs> elegant woman. Thank you, one time. This one for me when we say we need a reform. Hey! Hey! Look. Okay. All right. Boys gotta Now, we've all had a strenuous night. Right. I think it's best you all just went home. Yes. And Screw that! This is the wackiest party I ever been to, cuz! After party time! Hey! After party! Hey. Woo! Woo! No, no, no. I've had enough of you people in this crime scene. We are going home right now. But, but can we just home? Can we just get our email now. address, maybe? We did great work.